Hi folks, it's Florida Man here. What follows is Talleyrand related content, which was cut from the Fall 1907 to Spring 1908 video for the sake of brevity. It's Russia explaining why he forwarded all of his communications with Italy to everyone else. I hope you enjoy it. So, for the audience, like, t tell the viewers who haven't yet heard it from your own mouth, I don't think, you had a, a situation with Italy. Italy like I said, my attorney has advised me. Now. <laughs> Go ahead. Italy had stabbed you a couple of times, and as a result, you decided to forward the entire thread of your message history with him to all of the other players. Including those who are no longer there. Including those that are no longer there. Um, yeah. So I think this is a part of... I think this is a part of the interview where I take off my mic really awkwardly and make a lot of noise <laughs> and, and just stand up really and just like have a really tarm, hard time getting off my mic. And uh, you said this was going to be a nice conversation. You said we we're just going to talk about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yeah, so I published, I, I, I did it. I published the public press with, with Italy for, for transparency's sake. I, Italy I stabbed me not once, but. I'm not sure how many times, maybe three, <laughs> but, uh, but still counting the wounds. <laughs> right. So I felt, I felt, uh, justified. I felt it would behoove other players and myself to know the, the behind the scenes history in order to inform our decisions as the game continued or just in, in life, because, you know, not, not everyone that I forwarded the message to was still playing. So I guess, <laughs> You know, just, just, just to inform decisions in life, future games, who knows? Well, I think the important thing is that, you know, is that you, you enjoyed it. You know, it felt good in the moment. That's what I think is important is like, you know, that we just let bygones be bygones. And uh, wait, no, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so you got a little, little bitty bit of revenge. Is that more like it? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Um, so y you... How, how would you respond to criticisms from other players that uh, you shouldn't have done that and that, that it was, that it was poor etiquette? Uh, one of the suggestions was that it was not part of the agreement when we decided to make a, a video on this subject that the, the press themselves would be part of the video. That, um, that was one of the criticisms leveled. That's, that's a funny criticism. I mean, the press aren't part of the video. Right. Except for so the fact in that, that regard, I haven't, I haven't read the whole message chain that I had with Italy. Um, and it didn't necessarily make, like, the, the fact that I did share press, as far as I know, and not from my mouth, has not made it into the video. And as far as it being disrespectful to share the press, uh, that to me seems like a very feeble criticism. I mean, if you, if you don't want to be uh, criticized for doing something wrong, then, then don't do it. And yes, it's diplomacy and that's what people do. They stab people. But uh, anyway, I was, I was particularly wounded by the way in which Italy manipulated me, I felt, to uh, achieve his outcome. You felt somewhat personally aggrieved. I did. It was a... I guess uh, a pitfall that maybe a less experienced player like myself would, would perhaps fall into, which is that he sort of gave me tactically inferior orders to pursue with Turkey. And I felt like I had to accept them because he was my only ally and uh, accepted that and went along with them. And, and then when the time was right, he turned the tables. So, and kept Turkey alive all the while. So I, I guess uh, I was keeping Turkey busy for Italy so that, Italy could take care of Austria with my help. And then when it came time to deal with Turkey, well, anyway, Turkey is still alive and well. You think it was a mistake for Italy to keep Turkey alive and well in favor of stabbing you? Um, in a certain sense, yes, because I didn't, I, Italy, Italy, seems convinced from his messages to me that I was intent on stabbing him. And I will maintain 
to the death that I did not have that intent to stab mm -hmm. him. He drew first blood and through creative uh, machinations of, of uh, public relations, he has, he has made it to appear to other players that I was the aggressor. And I would just, uh, I would have continued to help him had he not stabbed me. Now, as far as whether it's been to his benefit, yeah, I guess I feel like it hasn't because he would have gotten uh, Smyrna. And so far, Turkey has made the gains. He's gotten Vienna, I guess, but he took that from Germany. Yeah. And, uh, but Turkey made the gains. Turkey got Bulgaria and Romania and Sevastopol. I think you have a good point. So I'm not really sure what Italy gets out of the situation, except assurance. He got assurance that I wouldn't attack him. And, you know, I can say that I wouldn't attack him as many times as I want, but I guess that doesn't make it true for him. Yeah, that might not be very convincing assurance. Well, thank you for giving us your, you know, your insights, your perspective on this. And I'm glad we could get both sides of this controversial conflict <laughs> um, to, to speak on the subject. Hope you've liked this video, and if so, I hope you'll like and subscribe and check out more of my stuff. Until next time, Florida Man, out.